and welcome to Sierra Latrice. Here at this channel, my desire is to inspire you to want to know Jesus more. So I go through all types of topics around biblical womanhood. So that's marriage, motherhood, whether you're, whether you're single. I hope you enjoy this video that I'm about to share and make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Hi everyone, welcome back to Tierra Latrice. Today we're gonna to talk about seasons. So if you watched my last video, I talked about a pastor that I follow named John Thompson. Fortunately, I've been able to be a part of one of his groups that focuses on marriage. And one of the things that was brought up was seasons. And that was so in not only intriguing to me, but just mind altering, right? And so I wanted to give a few tips of what I've learned um, regarding seasons. So if you're interested, you keep watching this video. God has an amazing way of using nature and what we see to just exemplify his glory. And one of the things that we all experience are seasons. They're cyclical and they change. So you have this winter, you have the spring, the summer, the fall, and then you go back into the winter. So we can always expect, no matter where you are in this world, some type of season change, right? And so have you ever considered the season that you're in, meaning independently yourself or even like in a relationship, whether it's your marriage or with your brother or sister or your parents? Have you really thought about what season am I in? It's so, it's so important to know guys because not being intentional about identifying the season that you're in can cause a lot of havoc internally with your perception of yourself, God, and other people. So I have three tips about what helps me now identify the season I am in, accept it, and then be able to adjust to it. So tip number one, identify. It is so important to know what season that you're in. And one way that I know John Thompson explained it and it was like, okay, that makes sense to identify your season is to not look at a specific occurrence. However, you're looking at the trend. So let's think about this in regards to relationships. This can be with your parents, for example. Have you had one big argument with them and you just think the relationship is just going down, <laughs> like down the hill? because you have one occurrence, that's not a way to determine the season, what season you are in with that relationship. It's so important to look at the trends. So you might wanna look at this month, the last month, maybe the last three months. Was that just one big argument and the rest of the time has been smooth sailing? Cause you may still be in a spring season. You might not be in the winter just because of that one argument. So the way it is so important to identify the season by the trend in your life or the trend in your relationship or the trend in your career, not just a single occurrence. As you know, not only is it important to know and figure out what season you are in just to see the trends in your life, but it's also important to know it just to see how you're supposed to adjust in it, right? So that leads me to my second tip. Number two, before you can adjust to something, you have to first accept it. Now, this just rings so many bells for me and it can ring so true in my life when it comes to motherhood. Many of you, maybe you just got married, you maybe just had your first child or your multiple children and you're like, okay, this is a new season in my life. For me, it was somewhat hard to accept the season of motherhood. And what I mean by that is, as you know, in motherhood, it comes with so many different nuances, so many different sacrifices, and it is, it is literally a life altering season, right? And so when you don't accept it and embrace it fully, you're trying to live in other seasons when it comes to your time management, when it comes to your ability and your willingness to sacrifice and lay down yourself for your children right and so as mother as motherhood as I began to walk in the season of motherhood and learning to just thrive in it I had to accept the fact that my singleness as far as me and just my husband and the freedom that we had and just it just being me and him was over and not that it was like a, a, a detrimental thing or a petrifying thing but I had to accept that we have to move differently in this season I have to move differently in this season because God has given me these beautiful gifts to take care of and so I can't move the way that I once did in a season where I was 
before I got married or even when I first got married. It is a completely different season. So that was an opportunity where not only did I have to identify, okay, I might be in the summertime. I'm not gonna be able to talk as much to my friends. I'm not gonna be able to travel as much. Those type of things that I was so freely doing that in I would say the springtime. Um, in the summertime, not so much. And I had to accept that, accept that God had changed the season and he wanted me to grow in another way and grow more in him. So after you identify the season, make sure you accept it. No matter if this is the best season and you're thriving and there's so much favor on everything you touch that God has allowed, or you're in a winter season where things are tough, things are more trying, you're enduring more trials and he's requiring for you to stand and not to just jump into a new season. Accept whichever season God has you in. Last but not least, adjust. You have to adjust to the season that you're in. You cannot Act as if you're in spring when you're really in winter. You can't plant an apple tree in winter and expect for it to spring forth in the winter, right? You have to adjust. And this can look like interactions between relationships. If I'm having, if I'm in a winter relationship with, if I'm in a winter season with my husband and it's kind of tough, we're not really getting along, we're easily offended by each other, that might not be a time for me to make certain jokes that I probably can make in the springtime. Because he might get offended or I might get offended. I have to adjust to the season that I'm in. Having to have more patience in the winter time. Having to be more gracious in the winter time. I can't act as if I'm in the springtime and I know that I'm in the winter time. So guys, I hope these three tips were helpful to you. And I did want to remind you to head over to my Instagram page. Every week I go over Bible plan on um, the Bible app. And I would love for you guys to join me. So again, I hope that you like this video. Make sure that you share it. If you have any questions, hit the comment box. I love hearing from you guys. And until next Wednesday, I'll see you later.